Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy Ellick from the 111th District. Uh, Sarah mentioned some of the exciting and unique bills that are being proposed this session and, and from last session as well so that we can work to get uh, more employees in the skilled workforce and to make sure that we, as Mark said, wrap around and make sure that we're providing all the needs that, that employees need to stay in their careers in manufacturing. So first I'll discuss House Bill 3307, which is the bill that Sarah mentioned that proposes a change to recent law that that took place a couple years ago that high school students will have to start taking uh, mandating two years of foreign language in order to graduate from high school and this goes into effect for students entering ninth grade in the 28-29 school year so the bill that we have 3307 proposes that we allow students to take two years of career focused coursework such as CTE courses instead of the two years of foreign language so this allows those students who do not plan on attending college the flexibility to take courses that can get them working right after high school. School districts especially have told me within my district and outside of my district as well, this requirement is a huge concern because of the lack of foreign language teachers already and concern that they may have to cut back in other areas such as CTE coursework to invest in those additional class sections in foreign language. So I think that this is an inventive proposal that has a wide ranging support and we're gonna be continuing to work on that this spring here. The other bill that Sarah discussed that I am sponsoring is House Bill 4670, which is the Manufacturer Child Care Center Pilot Program. So this is an exciting way that we can make sure that um, we're keeping people in the workforce as they, as they grow their families. So this allows the opportunity for a manufacturer to create a child care center for their employees at no cost to their employees. We know that the lack of available childcare is a hindrance to getting and keeping people, especially women, in the workforce. So we believe that this pilot program is very unique, but it will be a way for employers to provide a key benefit to their employees and to bring more people to the workforce, which um, improves manufacturing in Illinois for decades to come.